Wellness. Okay, let me see. Uh, now, what is uh, Trap House Wellness? Trap House Wellness, that's my baby. Um, so about seven years ago, I fell into yoga. Probably a little more than that, but I found yeah. yoga. Yoga found me, however, however we want to phrase it. But um, when I went to this event, it was 3,000 people there, and I could count, like, how many brown faces I saw, like literally on my fingers. Like, so it's like out of 3,000 people, I shouldn't be able to count this many people. And it was such a wonderfully freeing, opening, eye opening experience. And so, and we think about it even on the worldwide scale, we have been doing yoga, meditation, mindfulness practices. It's just something we've been cut off from, you know? So it's like, when I started talking to people, like, you wanna come to yoga with me? Let's go do yoga, let's go meditate. They're looking at me like, no, I don't, you, you're doing too much. Like stop mm -hmm. and so i asked my friend i was like how do we get us to do yoga how do we get black folks to be on board with doing yoga and he was jokingly was like you know just call it trap yoga or something and i was like you know what? if we did that they probably would show up and at the time there was a couple people on instagram that would have like a trap class or um or whatever but it was like once i was thinking through it it's like okay i still want this to be bigger than trap music and yoga um classes like some people that's what they do and that's on them like that's not my that's not my journey so i had a friend help me out with a name because i was like i needed to be bigger than just trap music i needed to be bigger than just us listening to some crazy beats while we do yoga or whatever and so i gave him all of my thoughts and i was like make an acronym for me for it um so over the years has changed but right now i'm have settled on and utilized transmute reality, acquire peace, power, and prosperity. So it's basically wow. understanding what we have going on in our real lives. Like, how do we transmute that? Like, how do we shift the narrative? How do we reclaim spaces that we have used to, you know, harm ourselves and, and, and destroy the community, at, you know, in a sense, like we call it culture or whatever, but it's like, when are we really gonna take back these ideas and actually utilize them for healing? So it became bigger than a yoga um, idea, especially when everybody was calling their classes trap yoga classes. I didn't wanna get lost in the shuffle because I still wanted it to be something so much bigger than just, you know, two chains and a yoga class. Um, so it became a whole wellness idea. It became like, how do we actually understand healing? Like, so that's when I started looking more into mushroom growing because I wanted to turn bandos into grow houses. Um, I wanted to do access to classes, community development. I wanted to make sure that we understood what we had access to and how to switch the narrative. I, it, it was one of those, like, how do we, you know, take a look into ourselves and like heal ourselves? Because that's the big thing. Like, we're always searching for somebody to do something for us when we have the power like within us. We just have to tap into all of that. And so just giving people that opportunity, creating that space where they they understand that peace, power, and prosperity are all, you know, linked together. Like it's not even just about like, you know, we're gonna just be all positive energy. It's like, no, we gonna face our real demons. We're gonna really take a look at these shadows and transmute that so that we have more power out of these situations so that we can be what we need to be as individuals so that we can have more power as a community. Okay, okay. Yeah, I feel what you're saying. Um, for the viewers who may not know, I do tours. I take uh, groups of people back to Africa and one mm -hmm. of the uh, more popular destinations is Egypt. So I've been to Egypt maybe like 10 times. I've been up and down and now, and you see images of what appears to be ancient mm -hmm. Africans 5,000, 10,000, 3,000 years ago doing yoga. So mm -hmm. a lot of times uh, we kind of think of yoga as something like a European thing or a non-Black thing, but it's one of the many things that we started and we could definitely use it to our benefit, especially at a time like now. I know myself yes. being yes. stressed out, COVID, lockdowns, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So there's so know, many listening, so much, go ahead and get into their yoga. <laughs> yeah, so much <laughs> ancient technology we need to tap back into. We have to reclaim our right, spaces, right. you know. Okay, okay. We almost down to the wire. Okay, I wanted to ask you, how long have you been a model? Because <laughs> for the viewers who don't know, you was in my music video, The Black of the Berry. That the was so fun. Beauty. Yes, Black yes. Um, off and on, probably since I had my daughter. Um, that's when I really changed my thought process as it related to myself. Um, 
when I found out I was pregnant with a little girl and I knew she was going to come out, you know, chocolate as ever, I had to reevaluate the relationship that I was having with my own self image and with my own self worth. Um, so it's like, how can I bring this little baby into the world if I'm steadily destroying my own self with my own, you know, thoughts of unworthiness, you know, and letting the outside influence that I grew up with, you know, take control. So it was one of those just um, taking back, you know, reclaiming stuff. So my daughter be 12, well, she's 12, she'll be 13 in January. So off and on for about 13 years. Oh, okay. So, so I want to But it's more about, like I said, just reclaiming my own self-worth. Mm -hmm. No problem. I want to thank you. I wanna thank truly you. thank you. Because you brought a lot of positive energy. You obviously got knowledge. You're very, very beautiful, very artistic. So you know what I'm saying? For those thank of you, you who have you. not seen it, check out The Black of the Berry, The Sweet of the Juice, featuring Sharday Renee. Shout out to Cobra, too, who helped putting that together. Yes, yes. Okay, so shoes, for the though. viewers who, who want to get in contact with you mm -hmm. or if they want to be a part of you know, the things that you're doing or if they have questions about uh, microdosing or trap yoga, what's the best way for them to reach you? Oh, uh, Instagram. Um, so it's going to be at the dot um, trap house dot CLE. So trap house is one word. But yeah, that's the easiest way to get in touch with me. That's the easiest way to find out updates about online classes, online offerings. And then, of course, the microdosing book, which drops on I'm still running into some editing issues, but it's going to be dropping on the 13th. Oh, wow. This month? Yep. Oh, okay. I'm going I'm to check that out. So keep me yes, posted yes. on that. I and shall. I shall. Check that out. Okay, I shall okay. keep you posted. But yeah, Instagram is your best bet right now. Okay. okay. Well, until next time, family, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Thankful for my special guests. We'll see y'all next time. Peace. Right. Peace.